Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, my name is Emil and today we're gonna learn how to crochet these small purses. To crochet these small purses we're gonna need about 20 grams of this cotton yarn 3mm crochet hook, sewing needle, button and the scissors. Well let's get started first chaining 5 and we're gonna twist the yarn so we can get this small circle and introduce the crochet hook into this circle, into this loop and take from the yarn coming from the bow, from the bow and pull it. This is how we get the slip slip knot and then we're gonna take yarn over and pull through the loop yarn over pull through the loop again yarn over pass through the loop three four five and then we're gonna do a slip stitch to the very first chain and this is how we get this small small loop which we're gonna work around then what we're gonna do is chain 3 extra, 1, 2, 3, which is the measure of the double crochet and we're gonna work around this loop if you open it, you're gonna see that there is a very small loop in the middle and what we're gonna do for the double crochet is yarn over, introduce into this loop pull through the loop and close this two, close this two again yarn over introduce into the loop pass through the loop close two and two this is the double crochet and what we have done is three double crochets and to continue with the first row what we have to do is four groups of three double crochets with one chain separation so we're gonna chain one and we're gonna do three more double crochets so one two and three this is the second group of three double crochets and to continue with the third one we're gonna chain another one and again into this loop we're gonna work three double crochets one two and three double crochets and the last group of three double crochet we're gonna chain another one so and work the last group of three double crochets once we have the four groups of three double crochet we're gonna chain another one and search the third chain one two three and do slip stitch here and this is our first row and let's continue with the second row and now we're gonna continue with the second row so we, what we're gonna do is go to the very last hole we we made with the with the chain with the separation between the first and the fourth group of three double crochet so we're gonna go there introduce yarn over and go to this is the single crochet and what we're gonna do now is chain two extra one two so it's like a three chain chaining three and now we're gonna continue with three double crochet, crochet to the next hole so we have here one double crochet another double crochet and the second one and the third one and this is the second hole and if you see we have four holes one two three four holes and it's like a granny so this four row, rows are like corners of the granny so we're gonna work now the very first corner because this one was the the last one so we we have started with three chain chaining three in the last hole in the last corner but actually this is the very first corner so we're gonna work the first corner with one double crochet chain one and another double crochet so what we've done is one increasing in the corner and then we have to 
work the three double crochets of the previous row so we're gonna work one two and three and again we have the next corner which is the hole here this hole here and we're gonna work it again as increasing so we're gonna do one double crochet chaining one and one double crochet and this is the, our second corner again we're gonna work the three double crochet of the row below so we're gonna work one two three we got the third corner we're gonna work it again with increasing by one double crochet chain one and one double crochet so this is the third increasing and we're gonna work the three double crochet from the row below one two and three double crochet and we're gonna finish the last hole the last corner which we started with one double crochet and we're gonna finish with one double crochet and chaining one and searching one two three the third chain and we're gonna slip the yarn here so we got two rows and to continue with the third row we're gonna do absolutely the same what we've done in the third row we're gonna go to the fourth corner with single crochet then we're gonna chain two and now what we're gonna do is now we're gonna work five double crochets from the row below because we have increased two double crochets in each side so we're gonna have in every row two more double crochets and now we're gonna start here with the first one second one three four and five double crochets from the row below and then we have the next corner which we we are gonna work again with increasing one double crochet chain one and one double crochet so we have absolutely the same order as the row below we're gonna work this row number three number four and number five with the same order and remember that in every row each side grow with two double crochets so we're gonna continue with two double crochets more in this side again and let's continue with it well this is how it looks like after the row number five and if you see i still haven't finished the the last stitch the last row and what we're gonna do now is just introduce from back to the front and do slip stitch and this is how we're gonna work this stitch and what we're gonna do now is chain three again one two three and before we start you have to know that before the stitch we have the back side and the opposite side is the front side of the purse and what you're gonna do now is first work four double crochets so we're gonna start from here one two three and four double crochets and then we're gonna work the next stitch with post back double crochet which is yarn over introduce from the back to the front then returning to the back pull out close two and two this is the post back double crochet and what we're gonna do now is work another four double crochets to go to the next corner which is from here this is the very first stitch one double crochet two three and four double crochets and you see if you see we have still another another double crochet which is the corner and we're gonna work it with post front double crochet which is from the front to the back then return it to the front pull out close two close two and this is the post front double crochet so we're gonna work with post, double, post front double crochet in the corners and with post 
with post back double crochet in the middle but only on this side and on the opposite side and if you see we, we haven't increased any double crochet on this side what we're gonna do now is work with the front side so we're gonna continue with another post front double crochet to the to the front to the back return it to the front pull out close two close two and we're gonna do one increasing just after the very just immediately after the very first double crochet we're gonna work two double crochet in the same stitch so we're gonna work one and two in the same the, in the same stitch of the row below then we're gonna work with double crochet till the last chain of the row of the of the of this side sorry so we're gonna work one two three and this is the corner and we're gonna work these two stitches with front double crochet but before we have to increase another one so we're gonna increase in the same stitch another double crochet we're gonna work and then we're gonna work here with front double crochet one and two double crochet so if you see we have increased it one at the beginning and one at the, at the end of the front side then we have again the opposite side which is one two three and four and then we're gonna do again one double crochet one back double crochet so we're gonna go from back to the front then return it to the back pull it out close two close two this is the back back double crochet and then we're gonna work again with four double crochets one two three four so if you see we we don't increase any any double crochet any any stitch on this side and this side we're gonna work only the front and the back with increasing and here we have the next corner we're gonna work it again with one double crochet one front double crochet another front double crochet and we're gonna work with the back side of the of the purse so we're gonna start again with one increase increasing two double crochets in the same stitch of the row below and then we're gonna work with double crochet till the end of the row where we should increase another double crochet and to work the very last stitch with front double crochet and then we're gonna work with one front double crochet chain one and again we're gonna work if you remember from back to the from back to the front with slip stitch and this is how this stitch looks like the, the very first stitch of the corner so this order of the row we're gonna repeat two more times so we need three rows with the same with the same order to continue with the purse well here I already have these three rows with increasing in the back part and the front part and what we're gonna do is continue with three more rows but without increasing the back and the front side so we're gonna work just straight three more rows this is how it looks like after these three rows and what we're gonna do now is work with the cover of the purse and what we're gonna do now is work with the back side of the purse which is this one and we're gonna make the cover but first we're gonna introduce we're gonna take out the, the hook introduce it to the second front crochet of, of this side second front stitch we're gonna pull out the, the last stitch and we're gonna continue working with the back side so I'm gonna chain another one and then we're gonna work with the next chain pull out then in the next one pull out so we get three we're gonna close it two by two then again introducing into the first chain here the front side of the chain pull out then the last chain we worked then one new chain then close it 
two by two, 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 two. Again, work first one here at the front side, pull out, then again, next one, pull out, then the last chain we've worked, and then one new chain, two by two, 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 two. Again, first chain, second one, third one, the last we worked, and one new chain. Again, two by two, 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 two. This is the Tunisian stitch, and it's always growing on the left side, and this is how we get this triangle. So we're gonna continue again with one, two, three, four, five, and six. The sixth one is the new chain we we pull out. And closing two by two by two. And this is how we're gonna continue till we we work all the back of the purse, which is until the first front double crochet. So let's continue with it. This is how it looks like for the moment and what we're gonna do now is chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And from the next chain here, we're gonna continue working with single crochet. So we're gonna work here one, then in the next one, another one, then next one, single crochet, again single crochet in each in each stitch of the row below, we're gonna work one single crochet till the end of the cover and to finish what we're gonna do is again take out the crochet hook introduce it to the second double crochet on this side and we're gonna slip the yarn through the last stitch and that's what we and what we're gonna do now is cut the yarn pass through the loop and with the sewing needle we're gonna hide the, the tail inside inside the last Roll and what we're gonna do is only put the button and this is how it looks like I hope you really like it and if you have any questions don't hesitate to do it in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe in my channel and follow me in my Instagram and Facebook bye